make sure your cute face shows up. And these two guys, they're just gonna be going diving straight into it. The guys are no two slouches. I gotta take this thing off. I don't know why it keeps doing that. What's up? The red box is fucked up over here. It could be going off for no reason. Are you straight, Greg? Uh, I do need to go check to see if this, what round this is. So give me one second. Even though I know this is gonna be an explosive start. Are still affecting around four. It's actually a pretty early uh, match that I'm at that end up saying. Just ends up showing just how stacked tonight is. I didn't really have been expecting this to be coming out like that. Double side specials. Stace is going to be really looking to explode on any opening he can get while I Greg is going to be ever so slippery. Making sure he sets up a wall for Stace to run through. Hoping to catch any of the approach options that he's choosing. Because Stace is one of the most aggressive players in this state here. And I absolutely love seeing it. I'm honestly rather jealous to be able to see how well and how fast that he ends up exploding in the situation. He's going to be taking the first stock here. He has at 123 on ledge. This Captain Falcon is going to be going for the re-grab. Unable to re-grab. He was going for some flashy techniques. Unable to really pull off anything. Here we are going to an even 2-2. Unable to get the stomp because I, Greg, did not do a mechanic air dodge. Very strange... Uh, Neutral special for Robin coming out right there. Couldn't even think about the move. Getting the Ferrets in there. Going side special, just be checking into the Art Fire. Art Fire going to be getting him all wake up. Get Art Thunder. Unable to get anything off. Getting the ladder, but not getting a good firm off of it. Station 11, Falcon Cicada, King just Nitro, Nitro, ever so changing. Station and 11, the Falcon King off oh, stage, gonna be taking Nitro, it at 80. Stage is flipping the strip just like that. An unexpected burst option. We'll be going for another side special. Just getting checked and watch risk and repeated over and over again on Fry Greg. Ends up bringing this out. We're the first game of last stock. Having a little bit of item play going on. I Greg just soon as a drop of 11 sword. Not wanting to deal with any of those frustrations. And Stay getting a nasty combo leading to 90. Into an up smash read. That move has been toned so much. Game one goes to Stay. All right, Greg, having a moment of thought, staying trying to figure out, you know, what's the game plan going forward? How much is I, Greg, going to adapt, if at all? Well, it's Georgia, they're running it back to PS2. I, Greg, saying that it wasn't the map, it wasn't the layout, it wasn't the field. He's got to figure out a stronger game plan. up some uh, projectiles and stuff like that, but nothing that ends up letting him commit something that ends up letting Stain just find his little uh, hole to get into, because once he does that, I mean, he just ends up always exploding, he's just always on top of the punish game. Running around. Unable to get anything right now. I Greg is actually setting up a much better wall now. Getting that Nair off the roll. Setting up for the Arc Hunter. Uh, Station 15, Station 15, the double up air, but unable to get the actual full hop knee. Disappointing because he just ended up flipping the strip again, just as he's been doing this entire time. Okay. Okay. 
some blenders out there, just poking at him. 144 here, on ledge, on fun spots at the end. R200 not going to be hitting anybody. Gonna be keeping him out with the 11 sword, it's just ever so deadly. Getting scooped out from a Smash 4 Classic side special into 11 board air. So strong. Going for a really strong read, unable to get it. The Thora just breaking up a lot of the interaction, bursting through. The nose for Rotten yeah. Reed, getting between training up with some percent. Throwing some out. Side special. Going for the side special into back air. That kills even earlier. We're seeing a very different game than we saw in game one. I Greg clearly adapted. Stain being left behind. Stain's weakness. If you just end up capping him out, you will eventually get the W over him. Going for a double up special. Able to recover. 180. Killing from the side of the stage. Coast to coast. We're at that type of percent, so the strong move like back here, of course, is going to be sealing it out. But now we're here at the combo percent that Satan ever so loves. Going to be going around. Side special. There. Looking for that opportunity just to explode. Unable to get the final up special. Uh, up air. But getting the running knee evening is out from what we ended up seeing out here. He's only down 50%. Just one combo, just one opening is going to be end up elevating. Just getting him so much leverage. Still 50% down. Getting just pestered by a bunch of thunders. Trying to find the burst off his double back air. Up air shrinks. Trying to look for the panic air dodge, but no panic air dodge from Greg. Just too familiar with the Captain Falcons here. The up smash is not reaching the platform. Stay trying to abuse everything he can with that up special. Up smash. In the book, you gotta throw everything you got at this man when you got the chance. Grab your book again, playing with it, going for the drop there. Falcon kick, we're at 100 129. And I Greg end up recovering. There's the end up spiking, killing him off the side, unintentional, getting reverse edge guarded by the Arkwit. Unexpected fashion, here we are, you know, going into game three. It wasn't I Greg's position, but the way that we got here, never would have guessed this. Season eight, season six. Commentating game three because here we are starting off a little strong here on Yoshi's unsure why I Greg doesn't ban this stage actually. Um, I know that uh, Robin can kill off the top with uh, Arc Fire into up air and the you know up Arc Fire ladders and stuff like that. Curious to see if that's what the end game goal. The slopes are going to end up messing a little bit. I'm sure that he didn't ban it though. That he has the knowledge of where he needs to be spaced out. But does his knowledge of the stage end up beating out stage just comfortability with this? He just likes the stage so much. It's small, forces a lot of encounters, a lot of commitments. He's going to be getting eaten up by that back here, losing the stock first. In a bad situation. Andre unable to capitalize, but getting a double forward air. 
Raptor Boosie for a commitment, but unable to get anything. No double jump here. Don't believe he's going to jump again. Gonna be spending everything in Igrick, unable to, uh, or unwanted to capitalize. Stain just falls to his doom. Now down two stocks. Committing to everything, but unable to finish it all. I Greg to lose now, but it's not over until it's over. The Falcon kick on the platform. Gotta be taking him off the top. So have a whole another stuff to chew through, but we've seen the first two games. We know that Zane can just take this out of nowhere. Enough air. Stop. Dash dance. Commitment here. Stay looking for a read. I'm sure what he was looking for in particular. Getting double near. The exact same percent, but different stocks. Back here, gonna almost seal it out. I'm sure that this stage actually ended up working out the best for Stane. Up air, up air. Trying to ever just desperately seal out this last stock, unable to do so. Just trying to go for an up smash with the Nair beating him out. We are at ledge. Down smash catching the tail end of that roll, so active. And that is going to be it. I Greg over Stain 2 1.